Hello and welcome to Blockchain Silver, where we try to analyze what in the world is going on in crypto. Today I'm going to talk about a decade of Bitcoin and why I see it going to the $100,000 area and then probably having a long retracement. I think multi, quite probably a few years, anywhere from two to four years. I use Elliott Wave Principle. That's what I go off of. Today we're going to be looking at a cycle, which is one year to several years or even several decades under an Elliott extension. And then this whole thing would be a, a wave one and two of a super cycle, which is a multi-decade. And so there's a lot of videos out there. They're saying Bitcoin's next move is it's going to go to 300,000. This is why I disagree with that. And I think we're just going to see the $100,000 area. Back when Bitcoin first began being traded, it was five, the, the earliest records is five cents. You could buy it for a nickel. Um, in two, June of 2011, it hit a high of $30. And then we never saw that high for, it was quite a while. It was, a, it was over a year. And so from five cents to $30, that was a 500X increase. Then from there, it lost, you just take $30 times it by 0.068, it lost about 93% of its value and went down to 205. Then from there, we went to $1,150 in November of 2013. That was a 560X move. And so normally a one and a three are pretty similar or they can be identical and that was a pretty close move then again it lost another 84 85 percent of its value so we have four out of these four waves two and two are almost identical and then these two here are close and so that would be a one two three four then when we get down to 178 dollars this was in 2015 We've never seen that price now again. I don't know if we're going to again, but this was most likely the beginning of a wave five. And so now you just take the, the one was a 500, the three was a 560. If we have just a 500 X move and the three ends up being the biggest, well, that still brings us to 89,000. And then if we have a 600 X move, um, meaning that the wave five would be the biggest one out of the three, out of the one, three, and the five. Usually the five is the biggest in commodities. Well, a 600x move, that would put us to 106,800. And so this is why I believe we're going to see somewhere around here, around this price area, and then it's going to be a long time before we see that again. Now, this whole decade, it's actually about 11, this is an 11 year. This would be a wave one of a super cycle. And so this would be a one and a two. And so say this is like two or four years long, um, then that would put us at about a 14, 15 year cycle. So three of these together would be 45 years, uh, which would be about, a that'd be a super cycle. And then that super cycle would be a wave one and two of a grand super cycle. And so then also after the, the $100,000 area, just like how we seen these lose about 85 to 95% of its value, I think we're probably going to see something similar. If we, if we see a similar move from wave four, 105,000 times 0.154, we're going to see about 16,000. So um, but that's it. That's why I think it's only going to go to 100, and that'll be about it. Uh, we'll see what happens. Once again, all my analysis is just my opinion of the markets. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, it's best that you do your own research, form your own opinions and your own conclusions, and then decide how you're going to invest. Other than that, that's it for today. Be safe out there investing. And have a good one.